So here's a question for you. Do you know your blood type? The spread of COVID has made many of us take a closer look at our own health and what we can do to help others. For many, that means giving blood. But in a new survey, it finds that more than a third of people say they have no clue what their blood type is. Are you one of them? Joining me with more on this survey's results and why knowing your blood type is so important is Clarissa Bradstock from Any Lab Test Now. Good morning to you, Clarissa. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you so much for having me, so, and nice to see you as well. I have to say this whole blood type question has led to a lot of discussion. So let's look at the numbers from your survey results, okay? First of all, you found that more than a third surveyed, or 37%, say they have no clue about their blood type. More than half surveyed, 51%, have no clue how we get our blood type. Nearly one quarter, 21%, believe blood type can change through the years. So tell us, why is it so important for us to know our blood type? Uh, there are a, a lot of different reasons why it's so important. Um, one is that actually your blood type um, it can impact the different types of diseases. For example, with stress, people who are type A have higher levels of cortisol than, uh, than the rest of us. And that means that if they're under stress and their cortisol levels continue to increase, that could impact the way they react to stress. So that's real important. The other thing is looking at cancer. Um, with type um, A, um, more than type O, um, they are at a higher risk of getting pancreatic and stomach cancer. And the reason being is that they um, have a higher prevalence of H. pylori, uh, which causes inflammation and uh, also ulcers, which can be a precursor to stomach and pancreatic cancer. And I know and, a lot of... Last but oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, yeah. I was going to say, because I want to go over those with you again, but I know yeah. a lot of people have been interested in their blood types because there have been reports that people with certain blood types might be more susceptible to serious complications from COVID. What do you know about that? Um, well, there hasn't been any definitive conclusions on that, but I do think in, in relation to COVID, another reason why it's so important to get your blood type and also the blood type of your family members is that if you have recovered from um, COVID, you could have the antibodies and then you can do co convalescent plasma for a loved one. Okay. And since um, blood type is determined by genetics, the likelihood within your immediate family that you could actually be able to help somebody uh, in your family that is suffering serious consequences from COVID. Okay, let's go back to what you were talking about because we have that graphic showing the importance of knowing our blood type. You talked about your increased chance of cancer with a certain blood type, the stress, stress factors. Uh, maybe if you have a certain blood type, then your stress factor might be higher. And then related to heart problems, which I think you were just about to address. Uh, correct. Uh, people who are either AB or um, B are at a higher risk for heart problems. So it's just interesting and understanding this as a part of taking control of your entire health and understanding your blood type and how it is impacts uh, these different disease states. Okay, and then let's talk about there are actually eight different blood types. So we have a list of those, which a lot of people may not know about. A positive, which is one of the most common. A negative, only seen in 6.4% of the population. B positive is used to treat sickle cell. B negative is only found in one in every six people. As we continue this list here, let's call this next page up. I think there's one more. But what's interesting is that all, um, excuse me, oh, here we go now. AB positive can receive any type of blood donation. AB negative is the rarest blood type. O positive, the most common blood type. O negative is used when a patient's blood type is unknown. And this is crucial, say, if you are in an emergency situation um, and you need some type of blood transfusion. Uh, talk a little bit more about that. Uh, yeah, what's real important is it is if you can know and actually have in, say, your wallet, or it can be identify what your blood type is, is if, if you actually go into the emergency room, it makes it easier for them uh, to get you matched with the right blood type. Uh, but again, if you are um, O negative, that is the most common that you can be treated, it, you know, a universal blood right, type that right. can be treated in universal. a trauma situation. Okay, so if we don't know our blood type, what's the best thing we can do? Um, we would suggest that you definitely go out and, and get your blood type. You can come to any lab test now, and you can find us online at www.anylabtestnow.com. Um, you can make an appointment online, or you can just walk in. We can do your blood type test. It's an easy, obviously, blood test. Um, 
quick and easy blood draw and we have the results within 72 hours. And while you're there, you may see some of the other tests that we have. We have over a thousand different tests. But again, it's real important to know your blood type. That's one of the basic things. So I'd really encourage uh, people to come out and get their blood type uh, and learn their blood type. Clarissa Bradstock, fascinating conversation. I think a lot of people are listening and probably will decide to do just that. We appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Coming up on